There are 16 million orphans due to AIDS in Africa. In the care of grandparents or teenage siblings, these kids are extremely vulnerable, high risk for rape, abuse, and violence. Doctors Mark Ottenweller and Mark Aguirre of Hope Worldwide have been helping 30,000 orphans in six nations in sub-Saharan Africa. Widely recognized, the projects employ about 100 disciples. Sadly, the projects lost funding last year, and Mark and Mark have been scrambling to generate new grants for these orphans before their own salaries run out and they are forced to look for other jobs. We asked Dr. Mark Ottenweller what Hope Worldwide's projects did for the orphans. We provide uh, care and support for orphans, counseling, home-based care, uh, educational supplies. We provide uh, prevention of, of AIDS. Uh, we provide nutritional support. It's a broad-based comprehensive package of care and support to orphans. Now, Mark, do you think these projects can be saved? Yes, I think they can. We've had huge budget cuts in a number of countries, but we have great partnerships with a group of corporations and foundations. And then uh, long term, we can certainly get funding from international agencies like the U.S. government. And what's going to happen to these kids if the projects close? Well, our, our teams on the ground will try to find local care and support, but we do work in informal settlements. We work in the roughest, toughest, poorest areas of many of these cities and countries, so they're pretty desperate situations. Mark went on to explain that he believes they are just a few months away from receiving the grants, saving the projects, and saving the jobs of the 100 disciples employed there. On the weekends now, he fundraises in churches, and during the week, he works on grant proposals. The danger here is that Dr. Ottenweller may be laid off before these grants can be secured, and these orphans become a casualty of the 2009 recession. Right now, several churches and individuals have contributed, but more help is needed. If you'd like to keep Dr. Ottenweller at work securing grants for these orphans, then here's how you can help. Jesus looked them square up in the eye And informed them that a seed must surely die But Sunday's coming, Sunday's coming Oh, don't you see my Lord is up to something Try to kill him, try to take his crown but Sunday's coming, death won't hold him down Oh, Wednesday out in Jericho, Zacchaeus climbed a tree Jesus said, come on now, son, and have a bite with me. Thursday to Jerusalem, the palm branches wave. If the people don't cry out, the stones will surely say the Sunday's coming. Sunday's coming.